Let me take you all through the general lesson of you, then we're going to uh, peruse our two other scriptures out of the Holy Writ, and then we're going to prayerfully let you go. General lesson overview states, how many people believe that they serve an almighty and omnipresent God? Mm -hmm. Almighty meaning that all might. Mm -hmm. There is no might under him that supersedes his might. Right. Omnipresent means that he's universally everywhere yes. at the same time. How many people believe that they serve? Some of y'all get ready to get stirred up. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's the kind of talk that I like to talk. I serve an almighty and an omnipresent God. And whom they expect to bless, that means divine favor, and protect them from external harm. Some of y'all would think that we were crazy if we didn't believe that as believers. But watch this. All the while having no expectation of the most high, preventing them from committing harm to themselves or others. In other words, we believe that we serve a protecting Most High. The caveat is, the catch is, is that he just don't protect us when we don't want to be protected wow. from what we want to do. Right. Wow. Wow. That's great. Now, I want to ask you all today, and I'm just the sheriff. You can shoot at me if you want to, but I'm just the messenger. I, I, didn't, I didn't cook this up. It was already prepared. I just commissioned to serve it. I want to ask you, what kind of God is that? Well. No, 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 no. You got to remember the title of the text. Because the title of the text is, do we harbor unrealistic expectations of the Most High? If he is a Most High that will allow and you expect every plane to take off and land. Right. Come on. Then how come he's not the type of savior that intervenes on your diabolical plot when it's your intent to destroy somebody else's plane. Wow. Mm -hmm. God, all the while you're being made safe. Right. Mm -hmm. yes. That's good. Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. wow. But we don't know what to call them when your intent is to harm somebody right. else's safe. Okay. Wow. I want to tell y'all something, beloved, and I'm no better than anybody else in here. We all have sin. We all come short. But I don't serve a God like y'all. Right. Yeah. If that's the kind of God you serve. <laughs> That's awake when you need to be protected. But that is sleep when your enemy is being harmed. I don't serve a God like that. Now some of y'all, y'all not, not too comfortable with me right now. I intend to do just that. And when facing the accountability for their deeds, complain and question why an almighty creator didn't simply intervene, in your negative outcomes. Oh, see? Yeah. Some of y'all were saying amen. Just uh -huh. literally, if I have my son, literally seconds ago. Uh -huh. What kind of God is this? Right. I needed that job. Oh, he's not God now. Well, I call him the most high, but he's, uh, uh, man, you know, when you were shocked, we got testimony. Some of us got, this is testimony time. Right. Because it's tax season. I'm watching the clock. Oh, it's time. It's time. Some of y'all don't understand in the New Testament scriptures what testament means. Testament means a will. It means an agreement between two compliant parties. It is will time because it's tax time. He wills me to be blessed. So when that check, when that number from the federal government happens to come out in your favor, even to some of us to a point of surprise, I was shocked. I didn't think I was going to get this much back. But if you're in a position like me and you got to pay, he's still God. And some of y'all like, what kind of mess is this? How would a righteous and a holy, y'all, I hope somebody's tuning in online, because the world needs to hear this message about how we proceed. What kind of God are y'all serving? Or what, where, who is a God? I serve a God that sits up high. Uh, and looks down. Look, I come from charismatic backgrounds. So I can tune it up too, but I'm not going to tune it up, beloved, because y'all got a God that only works when the tax number is right. But when you find yourself in some trouble, then y'all come up with this ability that I didn't, I didn't ever know or perceive that mankind had. Y'all can call God on the carpet. What is this? <laughs> What is this, God? Uh -huh. You call this a return? 
<laughs> what is this, Savior? What kind of this this you this was the way that the interview was supposed to go? I prayed then had a cookie. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you understand know what I'm saying, bro? You, 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 you get me now, bro. That's why I love you, You get it sometimes. Sometimes sometime it's just, and that's y'all, um, I don't know. That, that, you, that you, you, some of y'all believe in jinx and things of that nature, so that's how you un, un, unjinx yourself. You know what I'm saying? I have cookies before interviews. <laughs> and then on top of that, I pray. Still didn't get the job. Where, where are you, God? Why y'all got a God that y'all question him when stuff don't turn out? Right. All right. Yes. So I'm just asking a question, man. I'm just, I'm just asking a question. Do we harbor unrealistic expectations of the Most High? Mm. I want to let y'all know we're not going to read it, but I, I want to let y'all know in Scripture, the writer said that I almost stumbled. Oh, yes. Overseeing the prosperity of the wicked. That's some of y'all. That's thousands of years old, but that's some of us still today. Uh uh, this don't make no sense. I did the right thing. How they end up better off than what we ended up? God, what you doing? Who are you talking to? I'm not saying you can't question the Most High. If He's big as what we say, He can handle the question. But I'm talking about your attitude. Exactly. I'm talking about your disposition. I'm, I'm questioning your approach. I'm questioning and concern about your faith. Remember that yes. word. Because that's the elixir today. Yes, God. And some of y'all not going to even receive it. Wow. But I, I, I'm going to explain. I'm not quite done yet almost, but I'm going to explain because I, you, you got to understand that there is a drastic faith problem in the world today. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Absolutely. I'm still not done with the general lesson overview. Uh... And when facing the accountability of the deeds, complain and question why an almighty creator didn't simply intervene to prevent negative outcomes. Sounds like part-time selective free will. Wow. Part-time selective free will. Yeah, he's good when you deem he's good. Wow. What type of all-seeing eye can only see what we directed to look at and observe? Mm. Mm. Every... I, Everybody gone. Y'all here? Uh, just they left. I still see bodies, but it's the spirit just they gone. What type of all seeing eye need contacts? All right. Now. <laughs> That's good. What type of omnipresent, omniscient, most high person, in, uh, uh, individual, entity, get cataract? <laughs> Didn't answer your prayer because he was in glaucoma surgery. <laughs> what I'm saying is simple. I'm going to give you the end at the midway point. You're not going to get out of trusting in life. And if you don't get out of trusting in life, you don't get the right to not trust your creator. Yes, God. Now I can sit down, but I got more to give y'all. Right, right, right. Oh, I'm not afraid when messages for y'all go sideways because I don't speak the message for you all. I speak the message first and foremost to be obedient to the right, most high. Right, right. But a lot of times he gave me a message. I look at it because it ministers to me first, and I need this one myself, Mark David. Yes, God. And a lot of times I'm like, yeah, no, I don't want to speak that. <laughs> right. Nope, nope. Don't feel like it's gonna be well received. And then I start thinking about who I'm dealing with. And I'm like, yeah, I, I, better, let, I better let it go. Yeah. Yeah. Turn with me, Revelations, the third chapter. Are today's believers looking for actual deliverance or simply an opioid block of pain that has befallen them or what they've caused? It's good to hear the voice back there, Secretary David. You're the <laughs> only one. It's you and I. That's an honest question. What y'all looking for? Y'all want an aspirin or do y'all want mo the most highs intervention in your situation? Irrespective of what the outcome is, it's his will. Thank you, Lord. That's good. And you wonder why the opioid crisis is so big. Mm -hmm. 
people chasing pain blocking. Yes. It's just temporary. Let me let y'all know something. It might depress some of y'all. You're still in pain. Tell it right. Let me let y'all know something, beloved. When y'all think when you smooth over a problem at home, but you don't solve it. Right. Oh, the problem is still active, running roughshod, doing damage to your situation. You just have chosen to mask it. All right. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And guess what? When you come down from that high, <laughs> you're going to be worse off. Yes. <laughs> I've counseled, I've dealt with people who come from a line of addiction that won't touch the stuff. Right. And wincing in pain. Been in the scenarios where I'm inquired. I'm an inquisitive person. I got an open mind. Not this thing where it's, as long as we don't agree with one another, then anybody that we disagree with, then our mind is closed to them. That ain't an open mind. Yeah, no, that's, no. Right. Right. No. that's a mind with a garage opening. <laughs> oh, you're not Republican too close. Right. Oh, you're not Democrat too close. Yeah, yeah, you didn't get that. Ain't no open mind. That's right. one of the most myopic, narrow minds there is. Yes. Why don't we just go throughout the world? Uh, okay, I, not, I done lost the millennials in here. But why, why don't we just go out through the world and just hand out contracts first so we don't have to have our feelings hurt? Right. Okay, I'm coming to this room. I don't know nobody. Here's a set of things that I believe. Do you agree? Let me know up, up front because I don't want to waste my time. <laughs> my mind is open even to things that I feel like that I've researched. And I might disagree with because I'm always open to learn something that I that I didn't know. Yes. You might you might argue with me, and I might learn something about you about myself that I didn't know. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm not practicing protection against learning. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you're white. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, because we're living in a time where nobody will be honest about how the tide is turning. Right. Yes. Right. Exactly. Amen. White folk feel disenfranchised. In their own Indian country. Right. You see how I did that? Y'all like that. <laughs> <laughs> Which would give me Indians. They don't they didn't call themselves that. They don't call themselves that. They they call themselves Inuits and things of that nature. Right. Mm -hmm. Folks came over here from Europe thinking that they was in the Indian Ocean. Um. <laughs> 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 now I don't have nothing y'all gotta keep up I don't have nothing against white people I just use an example right. because once again we all are just people the same. Yes. Amen. when it started out all of us were together trying to build a building to nowhere yes. Amen. Yes. Right. Absolutely. now folks they feel the disenfranchised in their own country it's still only like you know because at the rate that us negroids are aborting babies you know we going down to like uh, 14 from 14 to 13 12 percent and then half of that is in jail right. mm -hmm. but this, i'm just telling the truth i'm not so here look at me like uh, i'm not saying that if everything is always right i'm ministering i'm not here to debate politics i'm just pointing out stuff because of the way that we look at things right yeah amen I tried to tell y'all that when, don't, when they don't hand out Oscars to hear it and stuff like that, it makes sense. Y'all don't believe it makes sense. Oh, yes, it does. <laughs> you 2% of Hollywood, and they're going to give you 15 of the Oscars. Right. Yeah. Pray for me, brother. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all, I'm praying for y'all. I don't even agree with some of the points you're saying now, but still pray for me nonetheless. <laughs> a lot of times, this is a numbers game because in a quantifiable universe, everything is numbers. Right. But we don't count. Mm. <laughs> I'm just making a point. Back to the message. Okay. I don't have to be uncomfortable. Revelations! <laughs> the third chapter. Bishop came in with both barrels. Yes, he did. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and it's right on time. Oh, yes. Because we have unrealistic expectations of the Most High. Right. Come on now. Right. Amen. He's a healer unless you deserve to be sick. Oh, God. <laughs> right. I'm teaching to somebody. Y'all don't want everybody here. I don't understand the most high that's a healer uh, with, with, with fine print. Right. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying everybody gets or deserves to be healed. What I'm saying is there's something wrong with the way that you perceive things. Yes. Yes. Amen. Absolutely. That's why some of our witness don't work. Because when we look for the most high to back up the light that's supposed to be in us, the Lord is up there saying, oh, we don't drink that big. Oh, well. 
well? Oh, that's precedent. I live through the word, Sister Desiree. He said in his parable that they that the prophets were going to come and say, I prophesied in your right. name. And he's like, I, but I don't know you. Yeah. Mm. It's good. Amen. Do you have revelations? Mm -hmm. yeah. Third chapter. I want to bring your attention to the 20th verse. Reads as thus. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him, and I will sup with him, and he with me. Where's this thing where y'all expecting the Most High to circumvent your will right. and do it anyway? Right. Mm. Wow. Now, I, I, I get down with Todd, Brother Delaney, the modern worshipers, and I appreciate the arrangement in the B2. Because you did it all again, or whatever the words are. Doing it all up, da -da 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 -da. they put a little country riff in it. Da -da 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 -da. But he ain't doing nothing that you don't allow. Yes. Right. Yeah. Let me read it again because some of y'all, we, we dealt with it on Wednesday in our study of salvation. Right. We deal with all of that stuff. Some of you all have been uh, denominationally brainwashed by dogma that came subsequent to the words of the Most High. Y'all yeah. antinomian. You know what I'm saying? Y'all once saved, always saved. Y'all soul of fides. Y'all by grace alone, by faith alone. All of these constructs that really smart people, I'll say that. Right. Really, really smart folks in history frame stuff. And ain't nobody asked you for your opinion. Right. Y'all right. Trinitarianism. Some of y'all modalists. Some of y'all go down in multiple names. Sometimes some of y'all go down in one. Y'all know why this has impacted us? Because at the core, there's something wrong with your faith. Right. At the core, you're an empiricist, right. meaning that you only quantify stuff that's connected to your senses. Mm -hmm. That's why y'all are able to admire me or despise me and still don't get to the most high. Because your aim is for something that you can see and hear and touch, and you're missing the whole point of believing. Yeah. Right. Right. Wow. Right. So people take advantage of us. They said, oh, I got your ear. I'm going to do a doozy on you. Mm. Wow. Mm. Because you are putting more stock, lock, and barrel in what I say right. exactly. than wow. what the most high. Yes. Wow. Mm. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Hang in there. Don't let them tell you all this through. Amen. <laughs> Once again, behold, I stand at the door and knock. Why is he knocking? If he's almighty, omnipresent, and can just come in anytime he wants to. You know what? Some of y'all act like that. When it comes time for the impetus to be on you. Oh, yeah. He's, there's a song uh, in a traditional church, a church, a hymn, that says he will make the darkness light before you. Right. All your battles he will fight for you. Yes. In a high place he'll bring down. Hello, someone. Yes. But some of you all, when it comes time to the point where the work is yours, uh -huh. if he don't supernaturally impede or oppose, mm -hmm. maybe that, maybe they made it simple. Maybe, maybe Augustine of Hippo. I've done my study, my research. Yeah, I'm a right. historian. Right. Maybe Augustine, and then hundreds of years later, Calvin. Uh -huh. Maybe they just discovered that it's just easier to just say, "Hey, I can't help myself, man. Grace, man, you know, man." And here's the thing that we came for for Wednesday. They weren't completely wrong. It is by grace that we're saved. But you got to want to be saved. Yes. Oh. Yes. Amen. Oh. Amen. It's both. Yeah. Amen. But it's easier when somebody to say, uh, we can't just not sin. Mm. The, the, Christ, the, the, the cross justifies it. If you think that's a new revelation, you're wrong. Because there were seven deacons in Revelation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of them called Nicolaides. And said, the natural moral law does not have no impact on the cross. Mm -hmm. You know what? That works for us when some of us like really heated, and we ain't sure whether we want to commit yet, but we still want to have the sex and please our flesh. Mm -hmm. So we, you know, we have uh, sex out, outside of marriage, right. despite what the Bible says. Right. Right. Then, right. then we can say, oh, I can't help myself to cross the blood. I'm just human. Mm -hmm. But you stop yeah. short of a baby being raped. Right. Mm -hmm. wow. What kind of, now some of y'all say that ain't fair, but, but they're both sins. Right. Yes. Amen. One, you ain't got no power or control over. Right. The other one, somebody need to do something. That ain't right. What kind of God y'all serve? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now I lost just about the few right, people. Yes. I, I was getting ready to say, Dave, now I lost Davis in the back. Now I know she ain't a child rapist. Right, yes. But there's something wrong with the most high that y'all serve. Right. Because if you just feel a little bubblicious, uh -huh. right. still, still. 
<laughs> now, I've been stealing since I was, you know, that ain't, that ain't hurting nobody. I'm just going. Man. But something should be done about that Euro bomber dude. That ain't, you know, that was just, that people right. didn't know that he was going to explode that bomb. That ain't right. All right. Who puts you in control of what is and what ain't sin? Yeah. What is deliverable and what ain't? Amen. And why y'all got to look sad? Why is your faith yeah. so, dis why is your faith so minuscule yeah. that all of the word don't work for you? Right. Uh, truly. Truly. 